Hello. So I'm so scared. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Like it? It looks so gorgeous. Do you like I it? I love it. I'm the friend that's encouraging you guys to use code James for 10% off of saving. And you can use anybody's code. Use, you know, James's code. I'm wearing my sister's apparel. There's so much going on with James Charles right now that I do not support, that I do not agree with. Fame, power, and a fat bank account will change almost anyone. And if you don't have people that will tell you to your face that you're doing the wrong things, you will change. And I tried to be that person for you, James. I really tried. I don't think there's any getting through to you and I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be associated with you. And I need to say that very publicly so that this chapter can just be closed. Some sneaky thing that happened because his ego is so big that he will think that everything is about him. So that visit had nothing to do with me sneaking around and like really manipulating the situation at all, just to get that straight. Again, it's just like, it's not yours to take. So talking about that at the dinner table with his parents was kind of weird. Him talking explicitly about sex and things that he would like to do. And like, I mean, like, I was just like, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I am used to this around, you know, everyone else, but not his parents. Like I thought around his parents that he would not behave this way. Like it was just like, no big deal. Like sucking dick and cock. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, time and place. And you did it at my birthday dinner. And I made excuses for you then. You were talking in detail about things you wanted to do to the waiter. And when I said, James, he's straight, your response was, doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity. So freaking gross. And you said that in front of my family, in front of my childhood friends. I had to call every one of them up the next morning and apologize on your behalf because it was so uncomfortable. And I've continued to do that. Then like a best friend stance. You know, my husband who he ran an agency, um, he was the VP of motion pictures. He knows the industry through and through. I don't talk about that end of my husband's career too often. He's so gifted with uh, his view of how deals, contracts, business development, he's a master at it. And I love his brilliant mind. He was mentored by Roland Perkins, who was one of the original founders of CAA. He has built businesses and sold them. He is so insanely intelligent. Anytime that James would need help, he'd be like, dad, what should I do? And he'd come over and he'd be like, I don't like my manager, will you manage me? And James is like, no, I'm not doing that. I don't do that anymore. But your family, how can I help you? My husband would spend hours on the phone, looking over contracts, getting him in a better position. So we helped him get into a style hall back when basically no one wanted to work with him because of his Ebola scandal. And everyone was really afraid that he was very toxic. But once again, you know, we had his back. They got a boutique management around him. They finally taught him how to monetize his videos. He was making $90 a video and because of me and my husband, he was making $2,500 immediately from a switch being flipped because his former management did not go in and do that for him. So that's just like a small sample of some of the things that we've done for James Charles. <laughs> 